Hi, in this video I wanted to go over um, inversions, uh, mainly those um, associated with major seven um, chords. Um, we're going to be working with, uh, with four strings. With these chords there's going to be one finger on each of the notes that we need and we're going to mute out the others. Uh, please refer to our PDF supplemental download that goes along with this in our supplemental download section and that will help you better understand what I'm doing here. Um, we're going to do root position first, second and third inversions, um, starting at, on, on the third fret which is going to be G. So we'll come down here to G and the four strings that we're going to be working on by the way are the E string, the D string, the G string and the B string. So the A string, the string here, the second one in from this side is going to be muted and the top one on this side over here is also going to be muted. It's going to be muted by the flesh, fleshy part of our fingers when we form the chord. These chords are a little hard at first. Some, uh, some of you may already know these chords, uh, but there's a handful of people that, that don't, um, usually more than a handful, and they can be challenging. Uh, but they prove to be very useful in the long run for coming up with different voicings and different creative ideas for songs. And, uh, and, and different types of forms and so on in writing your own music. So let's go ahead and, and form the root position major seven chord. And it's down here in the third fret. And this is the bottom note here. This is the one, of course, the seven. And we've got the three and then the five is your, is your middle finger and it's on top. Like I said, please refer to the bonus, or I'm sorry, the, uh, the supplemental section. Check out the bonus section as well, but the supplemental PDS will show you where to put your fingers. So here we go. This is the first root inversion, G major 7. And just like any of the other uh, triads and other types of chords, if you trap the notes, in other words, trapping means um, to not have any open strings in the chord. All the strings are accounted for. They're being held down by, by uh, the various fingers. And when you trap notes, you're basically, when you move it up like this, all, everything's moving up together and there's nothing that's left behind is open or anything. So if we go here, this is a G major seven. This is a G sharp major seven. A major seven. A sharp or B flat major seven. Major seven, and so on and so forth. So once again, these this root position is on the low E string, the D, the G, and the B. And those are the strings that uh, this type of inversion is going to be on. So we'll go ahead and uh, see you in the first inversion. That was the root inversion. This next inversion is going to be up here on the uh, on the seventh fret or at least that's the one that's going to be on the bottom your middles on the bottom this is going to be the third remember G was our first whole step to our second another whole step to our third is the next stop along the line of the inversion um, continuum so please refer to the PDF for further clarification you've got your index finger back here on the one and then you've got everything else up here under your uh, your ring and pinky finger to see a better chart, please please download the PDFs. And this is, once again, G major 7. This is with the third on the bottom. So this is G major 7 slash B. And once again, if you move it up, C major 7 slash B. So all of these chords can be moved up to suit your purposes. They're all movable chords makes them very convenient. Um, you can just go where you need to and you don't have to really worry about uh, worry about too much else. So that was G major 7, first inversion, and we'll see you in the next one. The next inversion is the second inversion and of course the second inversion involves the fifth being on the bottom, the fifth of G is D. So if we start at G down here in the third fret, we're going to do two whole steps to B, a half step to C, and then another whole step to D. And we'll form it like this. And please, once again, use your PDF supplemental download diagram 
for further clarification on where to put your fingers and uh, so on. So there's the second inversion with D on the bottom. So G major 7 slash D. And for those who um, need to know, we're working on the E, D, G, and B strings. And so that's the second inversion with D on the bottom. And uh, we will see you in the final inversion, which is next. This final inversion is a G major 7 uh, with an F sharp on the bottom. And of course we're going to find F sharp up here in the 14th fret. And we'll also find it down here in the 2nd fret. So you can kind of make up your mind where you want to do it. Um, but let's go ahead and come up here to the 14th fret first. Our ring finger is going to go here on the 14th fret. And then we're going to do what looks like an A configuration here in A form back here, which is going to contain our 5, our 1, and our 3. So our 7 is on the bottom. So that is a G major 7 slash F chord. There's our, I'm sorry, F sharp on the bottom. And we can do the same. A configuration or A form is these strings back here op acting as open and then we just have our ring finger back here we could actually use any finger we want right there but it's more convenient to do this because if we should move it up then this will be back here ready to do some more stuff for us. So those were the four different configurations uh, or four different inversions should I say you can call them whatever you want um, but uh, for purposes of uh, music talk and people uh, using correct language, we're going to call them inversions, and uh, that's the G major 7 inversions for the major the major 7 chord. First inversion, second, third, and of course your root position was down here in the third fret. And that's the one everybody's used to. Uh, but the other ones can really add some flair to your music and uh, give you some different color uh, tonally. So, um, so you could use these chords in place of, say, a regular G or you could do, you know, a regular A. Any major chord, uh, you can go ahead and extend it and use a major 7 in its place and swap it out for major 7. The one place you probably don't want to do this is in the dominant 7th position, which is the 5th position of the key. You always want to use a 7 chord there. And in the music theory section, uh, it talks a little more about why that is. Um, but uh, the 1, the 4, and the 5 are, of course, major chords, but the 5th but the chord is a dominant 7th chord, therefore it should be played as a 7th and the 1 and 4 can be played as a major 7th if you want. You can play them all as major 7th, it really doesn't matter. Um, but uh, for purposes of being conventionally uh, you know, correct and so on, you might want to do that. So anyway, this has been uh, major 7 inversions on the E, D, G, and B strings. And uh, we'll probably see you in another video soon. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care.